Hello, everybody. Welcome to Closets Are For Clothes. My name is Jeremy. It is Tuesday, and this week's topic is what the family thinks. Closets are for clothes. Jeremy on Tuesday. Before I get into this week's topic, I just wanted to let you guys know that there are some changes happening here at CRFC. We've been going through a huge month of changes. Um, we've just been really, really focusing in on what is best for this channel. And uh, Logan has decided that it is best if he leaves the channel. We'll miss him dearly. Logan, you were one of my favorite parts of the channel, and I will most definitely miss you. But we do have our new Monday selected, which is Derek. We got a lot of feedback from you guys when Derek went to becoming a substitute instead of a daily video. And you're like, where's Derek? I don't need him. So we brought him back for y'all. You better be happy. Okay, now I can get to this week's topic. This week's topic, what the family thinks, is all about what. how does your family respond with your sexuality. My family is really uh, accepting and open. I'm extremely happy and blessed to have such a wonderful family who supports me in all of my activities. They may not understand all the time, and I, I do try to explain, and sometimes they're a little hesitant on when I go out and do these new things. Like, take the event like Pride Parade. They would definitely support me in letting me go to Pride, but they wouldn't, like, go themselves and march with me. So that pretty give, much gives you a uh, idea of where they stand to my sexuality. Another thing that's involved in my family is that I don't have very much family who lives with me. I have my mom and my dad who live here with me and I have my little brother and all of my other family lives up in Illinois, which I guess is close to Matt and Ellen and Derek. So you guys could visit my family. Tell me what they think of your sexuality. There really isn't that much to say about my family because they are just so wonderful. So if my mom and dad are watching, thank you guys, I love you. Now on to the next thing, which is going to be a new thing. Each day of the week, we are going to have each person have their thing. Remember how uh, David always used to do those like song of the week things? Well, he's going to still do that, and my topic of the week is going to be LGBT news of the week. This I'm going to gather from different sources all the uh, around the week, and then just give you guys an update of what happened in the last week in LGBT news. First thing is Mitt Romney did win in New Hampshire for the GOP primary, um, which really isn't a surprise. We kind of all su suspected this would happen. He beat out uh, Ron Paul and uh, John Hunt, Hunt, what's his last name? Huntsman? Yeah, Huntsman, I think that's his. If you're not up on politics this year, all the GOP candidates have said something at one time or another against the LGBT community, so uh, there really isn't that good of an option of, for the GOP party, uh, which is the Republican Party, for any of you who are not in the know. Something else crazy that happened is there was this guy in Georgia, and he landed a 15-year prison sentence for stealing the social security numbers of different AIDS patients in his area. He, like, scammed the state's medical program for upward of $300,000. Police are on the lookout in Baltimore for a, um, a suspect who assaulted a 16-year-old transgender girl, which is horrible. There's still so much transphobia in the world. There's been so much um, work on equality for the L and the G, the lesbians and gays and LGBT, uh, but bisexuals are still kind of frowned upon by a lot of the LGBT community, which is ridiculous. And transgender people are still fighting for a lot, a lot more rights. That sucks. Another thing that happened is Mike Reynolds, who is an Oklahoma representative. Um, did, is someone like didn't tell this guy about the repeal of Don't Ask, Don't Tell? Because he's trying to make it, uh, he's, he's trying to pass a bill that makes it illegal for gays to serve in the National Guard. He says that Don't Ask, Don't Tell repeals the Don't ask and not telling, so you're allowed to question people about their sexuality and then suspend them for it. He's a very confused man. 
Okay, that's all the topics I have to cover this week. Thank you all so much for watching. And if you did um, want to keep up with what's going on, you can always follow us on Twitter. You can follow us on Tumblr. You can follow us on Facebook. We post all of our videos there. Uh, we tweet whenever we have a special meetup. Go follow us in all those things below. And I love you all and we'll see you next week. Goodbye.